Now, in a major security breach in Prime Minister Narendra Modi's security in Punjab, the convoy carrying Prime Minister was stuck on the flyover for 20 minutes after it was found that some protesters blocked the highway. This happened 30 kilometers away from the National Martyrs Memorial in Husseiniwala in Punjab. Initially, the Prime Minister had to travel by helicopter, but due to bad weather conditions, he decided that he would travel by road. After taking necessary confirmations from the DGP Punjab, the convoy went ahead to travel via road. But midway on a flyover, Prime Minister convoy had to make a stop after protesters blocked their road. In fact, following this, the Prime Minister's convoy went back to Batinda Airport. On returning to the airport, the Prime Minister, in his first reaction, has told officials there, and I quote, Tell your Chief Minister, Chani, thanks that I managed to reach the airport alive. Well, here's Prime Minister saying, of course, he's, he seems quite upset with what has happened. And when he reached back to the Batinda airport, he almost uh, blurts out to the officials there saying, say thanks to your Prime Minister for that I, in fact, returned to the Batinda airport alive. That's how... Uh, bad the situation was for him to really raise concerns um, himself and say to the Batinda airport officials itself. Um, Kabaljit, for more on that, who's been tracking these developments. Kabaljit, Prime Minister himself had to uh, make that statement to officials at the Batinda airport, almost in sarcasm and uh, maybe in anger. See, a big charge coming in from the centre against Punjab police is that there's been some sort of a connivance between Punjab police and the union farm leaders and the protesters. Uh, this itself uh, seems to be a big charge, uh, considering that the breach uh, has been 30 kilometres away uh, from the first spot that he was supposed to visit, uh, the Shaheed Jyoti, uh, the National Martyrs Memorial. And this is where uh, the breach took place uh, even before he could make certain key announcement. Remember, 42,000 crore worth announcement was supposed to be made, uh, laying down a foundation stone for PGI Satellite Center, some big ticket announcements. Uh, clearly, uh, they were supposed to actually uh, kickstart their BJP's poll campaign with this rally. But what was uh, ever was thought of uh, actually did not come true. One of them was also because of the rains which were heavily lashing for Rosepur since morning. Uh, less people were turning up for the rally. One of the charges now that the Congress is alleging against the BJP. However, since uh, there have been pictures which have been released and also shows the Prime Minister who stepped out to take uh, note and cognizance of what really happened, uh, the SPG would have advised him. And what we've seen is uh, that this is seen as a serious breach. And we've seen uh, Minister of Home Affairs issue a statement, uh, seek a report. Uh, they, there is also a possibility that they seek uh, uh, that the uh, that, that the heads should roll uh, because remember the sort of breach uh, we're talking about is quite unusual uh, because every time the Prime Minister travelled and we uh, knew of that travel plan uh, that he was coming in from Batinda, flying uh, via Chopper to Ferozpur. Uh, but the contingency plan said uh, that he would travel by road. Uh, that is usually given because of the weather circumstances or unforeseen circumstances. Uh, that uh, uh, second option was dealt with, especially because the, the Prime Minister had waited for some time uh, for the weather to clear and it did not and he uh, went by road. And this is where, uh, though he had SPG security, uh, usually what happens is uh, uh, law and order is a state subject, uh, the security, the route clearance, all this is done in tandem by security agencies and mostly by uh, the state police. And here it was Punjab police. And now it does seem that they were caught uh, off guard. Uh, they were caught uh, uh, in, not in a situation where they could actually clear the road. And whether that kind of advance notice was actually sent to the SPG team, which was coming along with the Prime Minister, uh, there's usually an advance team, a pilot which also goes ahead. Uh, but clearly... Uh, he was there for some time before he decided to make a U-turn, uh, go to the airport and then fly back and obviously not very happy uh, because this was supposed to be a big kickstart as far as the campaign for the Saffron Party is concerned. Uh, it was a lot of hoardings, a red carpet of sorts was laid by the BJP leaders. Uh, they were expecting that this could actually uh, bring in some sort of favour and maybe a change in the mood as far as the state is concerned, uh, especially after the repeal of the three farm bills. Uh, but talking about the security measures, one has to see where the security breach really took place, whether Punjab police, who said they had 10,000 cops on ground, uh, they had several measures, including they said they would be flying drones uh, to ensure that they can capture shots of congregations, especially of protesting farmers. Uh, they also were talking about uh, facial recognition. They were also talking about having open jails so that they could put behind 
uh, these uh, open jails, all those protesting farmers, uh, but was any of them actually moved away? Uh, there was a meeting in late last night where uh, Gajendra Singh Shekhawat, the poll uh, campaign manager for the BJP, as well as the senior BJP leaders who were in a late night meeting, which went up to around 2 o'clock, uh, were engaged in a discussion asking the farmers to really take back that particular protest. Uh, the protesters were hell-bent and they were stuck uh, because they had dig in their heels. Uh, there wasn't really much option with them. Uh, so, however, we saw in the morning uh, that the BJP was prepared with their uh, rally. However, because of the rains, there were less number of people coming up. There seemed to be a concern writ large over the faces of the BJP leaders. Uh, but yes, uh, the people were still coming in. Uh, but uh, remember, because of the rains and the farmers' protests, a whole lot of seats were empty. Uh, one of the uh, reasons which now Congress has picked up against BJP, uh, but this is not just about a political blame game, uh, which could be unfortunate in this situation. It is also regarding how the Prime Minister's team, uh, the SVG itself, was carrying. The road was not cleared, the route itself to his first engagement to the National Martyrs Memorial, where he was supposed to pay tribute to the martyrs of the land, uh, Shaheed Bhagat Singh, Rajguru and Sukhdev. And now this has turned out to be a big political controversy with the Prime Minister leaving with a heavy heart, but obviously making that statement. The MHA coming out, the BJP guns blazing, and now the Congress is going to blame. And we've seen some of the leaders now really come out and state how uh, this is BJP's own failing, uh, rather than putting the blame on Punjab government or Punjab police. Uh, but clearly the breach itself uh, seems rather unusual. And in a politically hot season, this will become a big political controversy. Right. Who will do the investigation? Will heads roll? Big questions still unanswered. Well, uh, this is highly unfortunate. A serious security breach there to the Prime Minister's convoy in Punjab while he was on his way to his uh, massive rally that was arranged in Ferozpur. We're going to continue tracking these details. Here yeah, we have a big showdown that we see as well over this massive lapse in Prime Minister's security in Punjab. Top government sources have hinted towards the connivance between the Punjab police and protesters. Sources tell India today that only Punjab police knew about the Prime Minister's route and never in recent history a security lapse of this nature has happened with the Prime Minister's security. Here are the exclusive images that we get here on your screens which shows how the convoy itself was disrupted. In fact, close to 15 minutes, the convoy was, uh, was forced to stop on a flyover when, when information was very well conveyed, much in advance to the police. Uh, in, a go-ahead, a clearance was also given by the police, assuring that security arrangements has been made. We heard Kamaljeet Sandhu saying that the police, in fact, deployed officers from all across. They, they had thousands of uh, police personnel who had come down to ensure that the, uh, the political rallies there go on smoothly, especially involving the Prime Minister as well. Then how did the information leak? How did, how did the information that was given strictly to the Punjab police on the movements of the Prime Minister reach those people who wanted to protest and disrupt his movement? That's the big question here that we ask. So far, no, no response has come in from the Punjab government whatsoever. Charanjit Singh Shani, in fact, as alleged by J.P. Nadda, has refused to come on the phone to interact on the same issue, has not so far given out an official statement to clarify on what happened. Now, a massive political row has erupted over a breach in the Prime Minister Modi security in pole-bound Punjab. The BJP has come out all guns blazing at Charanjit Singh Chani's government, blaming it for the biggest security scare on Prime Minister in recent years. BJP President J.P. Nadda has alleged that the Prime Minister's convoy was willfully disrupted. The BJP chief has alleged that the Chief Minister not only refused to resolve the issue, but also didn't answer the phone as well. The Congress has hit back at the BJP, calling it an excuse to distract from a flop rally. The Grand Old Party says that the pr Prime Minister here was shown a trailer of the farmer's anger. But Punjab government has also stood in the road and stood in the road that we can't give the road. We can't give the road, so we have gone back. We know this is what we know. कि पंजाब में सामान्य व्यक्ति जो है आम नागरिक जो है जो लगातार बोलता रहता है कि जहां सुरक्षा नाम की चीज नहीं है जहां कानून का राज नहीं है वो हमारी बात सच हुई और ऐसी सरकार को एक भी पल 
सत्ता में रहने का अधिकार नहीं है पंजाब के अंदर जिस तरह से आज प्रधानमंत्री जी की रैली के अंदर सिक्योरिटी ब्रीच हुआ बहुत बड़ी सेंध लगी ये कोई अचानक नहीं हुआ मैं बार बार कहता रहा और मैं फिर आज कहने जा रहा हूं कांग्रेस एक डिजाइंड कॉन्स्परेसी के तरीके से एक डिजाइन मॉडल के तरीके से हमें पूरी दुनिया में बदनाम करती आई और करना चाहती है 1980 के दशक में भी इसी तरह कांग्रेस ने किया था हमें पहले कॉन्फ्लिक्ट में दिखाया हमें लड़ाया और फिर हमें पूरी दुनिया के अंदर आतंकवादी अलगाववादी बनाकर हमें मारने का काम किया ये वो चीज है जो पाकिस्तान और आई चाहती है कि हमारी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हो मैं हैरान हूं और इस बात को लेकर चिंतित हूं कि जो आईएसआई और पाकिस्तान चाहता है वही कांग्रेस की सरकार पंजाब की चाह रही है और देश की कांग्रेस की पार्टी चाह रही है क्या देश के प्रधानमंत्री किसी एक पार्टी के प्रधानमंत्री हैं मैं अपने किसान भाइयों से भी मैं अपने पंजाबियों से भी हाथ जोड़कर यह आग्रह करता हूं जरा सोचो हमें किस तरफ ले जाया जा रहा है और किस तरह से हमें बदनाम किया जा रहा है वट इज हैपन टूडे इज नॉट मेली ब्रीच ऑफ सिक्योरिटी इज ए ब्रीच ऑफ ट्रस्ट एंड एंड चन्नी सरकार This happened for the first time when the Prime Minister's conclave was stopped by 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 uh, people who were trying to oppose because of certain reason, and it can't happen without the connivance of the local government, without the connivance of the local police. So, Chennai government should immediately apologise to the centre, and I'll appreciate. MHA should immediately intervene in this matter, get the report, get get a report, and take suitable action against all those who are involved in this. All right, I'm going to cut across back to Kamal Jeet. Uh, Kamal, here BJP leaders really furious. The many of them, uh, of course, accusing the Chani government to, uh, to to lack intent here in the first place to ensure security for the most important person in the country. I'd like to ask you again: any word on who those protesters were who blocked off uh, the Prime Minister's convoy? Any understanding on what they were protesting against, and how many of them were there in numbers? There were nine farmer unions who had given out a press release, who had issued statement led by Satnam Singh Pandu, uh, Jagjit Singh. There were other leaders who were there. Uh, we'd been speaking to them. Uh, so they were adamant that they would protest and also raise banners of Go Back Modi. Uh, so this was not expected as a surprise. Uh, however, Gajendra Singh Shekhawat, who is the poll campaign manager, also met several of these uh, union farmer leaders. The meeting went on late last night. Uh, the Punjab police officials, the other top uh, BJP leaders from the state were present in that particular meeting. As a matter of fact, uh, Shekhawat uh, Sa was supposed to meet uh, several of uh, the media personnel, but uh, since he was tied up with the farmers, uh, that was called off. Uh, but what is important and significant is uh, that this was not a surprise. Uh, people knew uh, that there would be blockade. Uh, we'd been reporting since last night uh, that there were blockades which were done across several of the main routes leading up to the rally point. Uh, but what was not expected is that the Prime Minister himself would get stuck in a certain way. And this this happened 30 kilometers shy of uh, National Amartya's memorial. Uh, so yes, uh, there is a breach, there is a concern. This is about regarding the Prime Minister's security. Uh, there is also the SPG involved. Uh, surprisingly and interestingly, uh, the MHA has issued a statement and perhaps rightly so, but also that the SPG does not come under. But remember, as far as internal security is concerned, all these agitations are concerned. MHA does deal with them. Uh, this is also uh, anticipated that in the next few months we will see several of the BJP leaders will try and come here. Uh, but to kickstart the campaign, things have gone pretty sour as far as the centre and the state are concerned. Uh, the BJP blaming Chani government. And this is the last he would have expected because several of his own leaders, including Navjot Singh Sidhu, including the others, have been questioning about Chani's own capability, whether it's handling of sacrilege, lynching, uh, bomb blast, and now uh, the breach in Prime Minister's security. It puts him in a bad position, it shows him in a poor light and more so about his capability about handling police and uh, law and order situation in the state. All this, uh, especially, he's also a Dalit leader, a rising star, so to say, within the Congress party. Uh, but again, when question marks are raised, he's going to talk about merit, about his own leadership, about how things happen. And we do not expect uh, Chief Minister Chani to really uh, give back immediately. He will collect reports from all the top officers and remember, uh, all hotels, all rooms were booked here, all top officials, all top BJP leaders, uh, four of them at least were here. 
Uh, so, uh, it was very difficult to actually find a room in Ferozpur. So, that means the entire top brass of Punjab police had been camping in Ferozpur. Uh, they had been going up and down throughout the week. They had been making massive deployment, contingency plan. Uh, they also had an open prison. There was a clear instruction uh, that the protesters would be asked to move away. There were lathis being carried. There was no gun carried around by a Punjab police personnel near the rally site. Uh, all this is significant. It's also because they do not want any escalation, especially between the farmers. It's a long-term thing uh, and understanding between Punjab police as well as the farmers uh, not to cross that particular line. And this is where uh, the issue of connivance is coming in uh, that has been alleged by the centre uh, that Punjab police was perhaps in connivance with farmers uh, because they were not removed, uh, especially from the route of the Prime Minister. And if that was the position that the route was not clear, why was the information not passed back? Uh, again, uh, Punjab police will, uh, will uh, come out with a statement perhaps and even the Chief Minister because question marks have been raised. But this will uh, create a political row and it has already has. It snowballed into major political controversy just ahead of Punjab polls. Uh, with the centre and state in an ugly fight where questions regarding security breach are being raised. Uh, answers are still not really coming in from the Chief Minister himself, but in some time perhaps they will. And it's unusual if they do admit to certain uh, security breach, uh, but they are likely, and we've seen several of the uh, Congress leaders blame uh, thin attendance in uh, Prime Minister's rally as one of the reasons uh, that is going to be one part of the political controversy. But again, as I said to you, a security breach itself and the call not to go ahead uh, to his uh, future engagements or further engagements is something which was done and he took a U-turn, he went back to Batinda from where he flew back. Uh, so yes, uh, something that BJP had started saying this is going to be the biggest poll rally of the BJP uh, has turned out to be a disaster because of the security breach. Uh, they are putting the blame on Congress party. The Congress in turn is putting fingers back at them. So back and forth blame game, few answers coming in, uh, but either the MHA or any of the security security established and the central agencies come up with something or for that matter uh, chief minister and this is going to cause a lot of wedge as far as uh, both uh, congress as well as the bjp is concerned uh, but yes this snowballing into a major controversy Kamalji, thank you very much. But stay with us. We're going to continue tracking these developments here. A massive breach to Prime Minister Prime Minister's security in Punjab. Uh, clearly, this has uh, come as a huge talking point for the BJP, lashing out at the Punjab government for not meeting, uh, uh, in fact, for not adhering to the security protocols which they themselves committed to. Here, uh, BJP leaders speaking to India today, Shahzad Punawala, as well as the Congress is Ravneet Singh, who tried to justify on the same. Let's take a listen what they had to say. Rajniti, Rajniti par kabhi nahi honi chahiye. There should never be politics played over issues of national interest. Parivarik interest and political interest can't be used to target national security interests. Today, what has happened in Punjab is 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 a shameful day and a shameful event. The Prime Minister was going to dedicate thousands of crores worth development projects to the people of Punjab, pay obeisance to the great Sardar Bhagat Singh, and his plan was to originally go by the chopper. The plan had to be changed due to weather considerations. The DGP gave a clearance for this. After the DGP has given a clearance, can we ask the Punjab government that why adequate deployment was not done? Why were the protesters allowed to reach the route where the Prime Minister was going, which is an SPG uh, route, which is a route that has been cleared by your DGP? Why was this done to sabotage the Prime Minister's visit? Why was this done to even at the cost of putting a lapse in the security of the Prime Minister? This kind of politics by the Congress party in Punjab is most shameful. And I was hearing that the Deputy Chief Minister, I believe, on another television channel, has even admitted that, yes, there was a security lapse. We are asking why Mr. Chandni refused to come on the phone. Mr. Nadda has put out a series of pleas where he has asked directly that why was the chief minister who could have resolved the situation immediately refused to come on the phone. PM go to block it. All right, here's some big news coming in. Big political fight over Prime Minister security breach. Punjab government spokesperson Rajkumar Varka rejects security lapse charge. Claims that Prime Minister cancelled his rally as the BJP failed to attract crowds. So to avoid a flop show, the Prime Minister was forced to call off the rally. This is a reaction coming in. Let's quickly cut across Punjab government spokesperson Rajkumar Verka who spoke on the same lines. Listen in. Achanak Mosam Kharab Hua Aur Unhe Bhai Road Jana Pada 
रास्ते में प्रदर्शनकारियों ने धरना दिया हुआ था जिस वजह से उन्हें प्रॉब्लम आई है और यहां तक रैली का रद्द होने का सवाल है क्योंकि बीजेपी से लोग इकट्ठे ही नहीं हुए वो रैली फ्लॉप हो चुकी थी फ्लॉप शो पे प्रधानमंत्री जाना नहीं चाह रहे थे और हमारे सर पे ठीकरा फोड़ रहे हैं कि हमने को रास्ते रुकवा दिए हमने सुरक्षा में लैब्स किया भैया हमने कोई सुरक्षा में लैब्स पंजाब सरकार का नहीं है हम बिल्कुल सुरक्षा व्यवस्था कहम की हुई थी अचानक प्रदर्शनकारी रास्ते में आए हैं वो प्रॉब्लम जरूर हुई है क्योंकि बीजेपी के खिलाफ लोगों को भारी गुस्सा है Right, going back to Kabaljit, on this Kabaljit, Rajkumar Vedka, there's a Punjab spokesperson, uh, the Congress spokesperson, who said that it was Prime Minister's will to return only because he did not have, he did not find enough crowds at the rally, and due to heavy rains, he decided to cancel it. Let me quickly cut across to uh, the BJP leader speaking on the same, Ashwini Sharma, who's speaking live on the same. देश के प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र भाई मोदी जी के विचार सुनने लिए अपने घर तो निकले और प्रशासन ने कल रात को सू पूरी तरह न यकीन दिलाया कि रैली जी है वो रस्ते के अंदर किसी भी प्रकार की अड़चन नहीं आन दिखती जाएगी लेकिन जिन्ह ने रखवाली करनी सी खुद ही लाठिया चला रहे थे और बैरीकेट लगा के दस पंद्रह भी लोगों खड़े करके बसा रोक रहे थे और ऐसा इक्की स्थान किया गया ये तो, तो एक गल तो साफ है कि चनी डर गए चनी की सी आई डी की रिपोर्ट भी होगी वे प्रशासन की भी रिपोर्ट होगी कि इस रैली के अंदर चौती सौ चौरासी बसा अपने अपने स्थान तो चलिया ये अलावा चार हजार कलूजनर और पांच हजार तो उपर कार जैली का हिस्सा बनने लंजाबिया लैके चलिया और खास करके जरा हरी के पत्तन है तरन तारण मलोट वाली साइड तो और अबोर वाली साइड तो आने वाला रस्ता कोट कपूरा इत जोगे वाली रोड के उ जिस प्रकार का पुलिस ने आचरण किया इस गल वाल इशारा करता है कि पुलिस प्रशासन जोड़ा है वह पंगू हो चुक है और कांग्रेस की कटपुतली है जेडे मैं तो कई बार सरकार कह भी इतराज आता है वो सरकार की जी नागरिक सुरक्षा ना दे सके वो सरकार की जे दे, देखो पी एम साहब आए ने वो पंजाब न कुछ देना ही सी ना इन्होंने शहीद का भी अपमान किया शहीद की स्थली के उ जाके पी एम साहब ने पुष्पांजलि करनी सी उ नहीं पूछ सकते तो क्या शहीद का अपमान नहीं है इन्होंने लोकतंत्र का भी अपमान किया लोकतंत्र की दुहाई पाने वाली कांग्रेस रोज ही तुम चार पांच दिन बाद प्रियंका का राहुल का ट्वीट देख लेंगे दे अज मैं लगता कोई ट्वीट नहीं आएगा आएगा तो वह भी बचकाना ही आएगा लोकतंत्र क्या उन्होंने लोगों है जेडे अराजकता फैलाते ने एक पोलिटिकल पार्टी के नाते क्या पंजाब बीजेपी को अधिकार नहीं है कि अपनी गल लोग करे मैं ये लगता है आप जी के माध्यम न कि यह सरकार जनता का भी विश्वास खो चुकी है और इस सरकार सरकार कहना भी मैं लगता है सरकार शब्द का अपमान करना है चन्नी साहब च अगर थोड़ी जी भी नैतिकता है वैसे तो कांग्रेस तो उम्मीद नहीं की जा सकती उन्होंने किसी भी व्यक्ति को उम्मीद नहीं की जा सकती किसी मंत्री को उम्मीद नहीं की जा सकती लेकिन फिर भी अगर थोड़ी जी भी नैतिकता है तो उन्होंने रिजाइन करना चाहिए और इस सरकार को एक भी मिनट सरकार च बने रह कोई अधिकार नहीं जड़ी सरकार कानून व्यवस्था नहीं बना सकती लोकतंत्र नहीं बचा सकती 
ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਸੰਵਿਧਾਨ ਅਨੁਸਾਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਚੱਲ ਸਕਦੀ ਉਸ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਰਹਿਣ ਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਅਧਿਕਾਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਐਸਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਮੰਨਣਾ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਔਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖੋ ਇਤਨੇ ਸ਼ਰਜੰਤਰ ਦੇ ਬਾਵਜੂਦ ਵੀ ਹਜ਼ਾਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਤਦਾਦ ਚ ਕਾਰਕਰਤਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਾਰਾਂ ਚ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਰੈਲੀ ਸਥਾਨ ਚ ਪੁੱਜਣ ਚ ਕਾਮਯਾਬ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਔਰ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਕੱਲ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਬੀਜੇਪੀ ਦਾ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਲੀ ਸਫਲ ਕਾਰਜਕ੍ਰਮ ਸੀ ਅੱਜ ਇੱਕ ਰੈਲੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਈ ਅੱਜ ਹਰ ਗਲੀ ਚ ਹਰ ਸੜਕ ਚ ਹਰ ਗ੍ਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਹਰ ਕਸਬੇ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਰੈਲੀਆਂ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਰੋਕਿਆ ਉੱਥੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਮੋਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਾਬਾਦ ਭਾਰਤੀ ਜਨਤਾ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਨਵਾਂ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਬਣਾਵਾ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਸੰਕਲਪ ਕਾਰਕਰਤਾ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਲਿਆ ਔਰ ਜਨਤਾ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਲਿਆ ਔਰ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੀ ਜਨਤਾ ਬੜੀ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਹੈ ਇਹਨ ਆਤੰਕਵਾਦ ਵੀ ਰਾਇਆ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਲੋਕਤੰਤਰ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਬਚਾਣਾ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਘਟਨਾਕ੍ਰਮ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਦੇ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਚ ਵੀ ਪਤਨ ਦਾ ਕਾਰਨ ਬਣੇਗਾ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਸ਼ਰਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਚੱਲੀਏ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਬਿਆਨ ਸਰਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਕੋਈ ਐਸੇ ਸਭ ਲੋਕ ਪੁੱਛੇਗੇ ਕੋਈ ਪੁੱਛ ਸਕਦਾ ਆਪ ਪੁੱਛ ਲੈ ਸ਼ਰਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਚੰਨੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਬਿਆਨ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਆਇਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਕਿੱਥੋਂ ਸੀ ਦੂਸਰਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ 70000 ਕੁਰਸੀਆਂ ਸੀਗੀ 700 ਬੰਦਾ ਆਇਆ ਬਾਨਾ ਬਾਨਾ ਲਾ ਕੇ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਬਾਨਾ ਤਾਂ ਲੱਭਿਆ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਇਦਾਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਕੈਸਟਾਂ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਕੱਲ ਜਾਰੀ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ 800 ਬੱਸ ਰੁਕੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਤੇ 250 ਬੱਸ ਰੁਕੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਸੇ 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 ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਤੇ 150 ਬੱਸ ਰੁਕੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਸੇ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਤੇ 200 ਬੱਸ ਰੁਕੀ ਹੈ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਚੰਨੀ ਕੋਲੋਂ ਸਰਟੀਫਿਕੇਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਸ਼ਰਮਾ ਜੀ ਚੰਨੀ ਨੇ ਚੰਨੀ ਨੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਵੇਖ ਵੀ ਲਿਆ ਚੰਨੀ ਮੁੱਖ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਝੂਠ ਵੀ ਬੋਲ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਪੀਐਮ ਦੀ ਦਾ ਕਾਫਲਾ ਚੱਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੋਏ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਨਾ ਹੋਏ ਉਹਦਾ ਡੀਜੀਪੀ ਔਰ ਚੀਫ ਸੈਕਟਰੀ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਕਰ ਕਲੀਅਰੈਂਸ ਦੇ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੋਏ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਝੂਠਾ ਆਦਮੀ ਕੋਈ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਸ਼ਰਮਾ ਜੀ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਚੁਣਾਵ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਾ ਸਕਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸੁਰੱਖਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇ ਸਕਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਰੈਲੀ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਅਧਿਕਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਦੀ ਰਾਖੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੀ ਉਹ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਹੁੰਦਿਆਂ ਚੁਣਾਵ ਨਿਸ਼ਪਖਸ਼ ਹੋ ਜਾਏਗਾ All right there you have it BJP leader who's uh, lashing out at the government in Punjab the Congress government Charanjit Singh Channi's government's lack of intent as they accuse for not providing adequate security now let me take you through the route map from where prime minister modi uh, left and where he wanted to land before he was uh, in, in, blocked off and then he had to turn back prime minister modi landed in batinda he waited at the bhatinda airport for about 20 minutes to get clearances uh, because the weather condition was bad he waited at the bhatinda airport but due to bad weather his helicopter couldn't take off and that's why he decided that he may want to take the route by road the prime minister was supposed to go to the national martyrs memorial 30 kilometers away from the airport it was then decided that the prime minister will leave by road and Unfortunately while they approach towards the National Martyrs Memorial 30 kilometers ahead of the memorial there the prime minister's convoy was blocked by protesters on road at a flyover in fact they had to wait on that flyover for close to 15 to 20 minutes before the prime minister decided that they wanted to cancel the rally itself due to security concerns and returned back to the Batinda airport before he left 
This is the sequence of events where the Prime Minister was all set. Remember, he was there to address a rally and also inaugurate, lay the foundation stone for several developmental projects worth 45,000 crore rupees uh, and more. In fact, the Prime Minister's plan was very well communicated with the police and the government much in advance uh, so that uh, adequate security could be made. We know we've seen that there has been tension brewing over the last year and a half on uh, with the, fr the Prime Minister, the centre itself, and the farming community and this time it appears that despite the delicate situation and the tensions and the animosity between uh, the center the prime minister itself and many of the farming associations uh, the farmer unions who are who are not very uh, welcoming of the prime minister uh, despite that scare it appears that the punjab police has not taken the matter serious enough they have not taken this uh, as seriously as they should be uh, he is the most important person in the country at this point undoubtedly the prime minister's security is paramount for any state to look into and give adequate preference here the prime minister he landed in batinda he waited at the Bhatinda airport for 20 minutes because there were heavy rains. Initial reports suggested that the Prime Minister wanted to call off the rally itself because of heavy rains. But uh, there was still some kind of concern that was being raised which was not widely communicated. But here now, the Ministry of Home Affairs itself has sent a detailed statement, has released a detailed statement uh, penning down, detailing all the issues and the security lapses that took place with the security of the Prime Minister. In fact, the Prime Minister landed in Bhatinda Airport, waited at the airport for 20 minutes for the weather to clear up. The weather conditions uh, did not clear. It was, it was not uh, fruitful for the Prime Minister to, to take off on a helicopter. Therefore, he decided that he will go by road. The road plan was decided, it was communicated with the DGP of uh, the Punjab and the police. They assured that they will ensure adequate security, maybe even additional security because the Prime Minister was taking the route by road. And despite that, while the Prime Minister's convoy was approaching towards the National Martyrs Memorial, 30 kilometers away from that, from the memorial itself, the convoy was blocked off by protesters, right, who were standing along a flyover managed to stop the Prime Minister's convoy for close to 15 to 20 minutes. It was serious, a serious security threat, a security scare. And post which the Prime Minister's team has decided that they're going to cancel this uh, rally entirely and head back because they weren't, they weren't sure if the police who had promised for security would ensure security all the way till Ferozpur where the rally was held. Therefore, a decision was taken that he will, the rally itself will be cancelled and the Prime Minister will head back. He went back to the Batinda airport before he left. Kamaljeet for more on that. Kamaljeet, the Congress trying time and again very, very hard to shrug off responsibility on this security issue, which is a state subject, very much the responsibility of the Punjab government to ensure that the Prime Minister's security was adequate and that such an instance would really show them in bad light. It's, it's foolish for them to have not, uh, to have not anticipated that farmers who are already angry with the Modi government will protest at any given point and therefore ensure that police is aligned enough to make sure that the convoy passes free. Uh, protests have happened all over the country. You can't stop protesters from protesting, but can they possibly stop the road, uh, block it off, especially that of the Prime Minister's convoy? That's shocking and unprecedented, never happened before. How did the police even allow and claim that they never anticipated such a situation. In fact, some reports also suggesting that the, uh, the police itself has admitted their lapse, but the Chani government has not come out to admit it. Well, I will refrain from making any sort of judgmental remarks. Breaches have been made. There have been assassinations which have been done. Uh, so it's not usual. I mean, what I'm trying to say here is uh, once the report is in, we'll be in a better position to as to what has happened. But what visuals are very clear is that the Prime Minister was stuck on the bridge. Uh, the clearance of that road, which is a uh, duty of Punjab police to ensure. And usually what happens with the security agencies is uh, that there is a licensing which has been done. Uh, so BSF was involved. Uh, there was Punjab police, security agencies. The SPG was already here. Uh, they were uh, the advanced license team. Uh, there is also a pilot uh, which carry which which goes ahead. Uh, so usually a communication of this sort is made uh, right back and told uh, that that if there is any sort of blockade or if the route is not clear. Uh, so this is surprising uh, that uh, that the prime minister himself found out pretty late uh, that uh, he is getting stuck. Uh, otherwise. 
there is contingency plan and usually the route says that he was supposed to fly in via chopper and let me tell you uh, what the farmer unions had done was they had actually surrounded all the routes leading up to Ferozpur so they had blocked uh, all uh, buses or those who wanted to come in for the rally uh, we tried to speak to several of the leaders who said uh, whosoever wants to go in we will not be stopping them but that was not the case because the BJP was alleging that their buses were getting uh, stopped in various locations. The other part being uh, if the Prime Minister was supposed to come and he was coming via chopper within the Ferozpur city limit there wasn't really protest. It was just on the outer corners towards the routes leading up to the Ferozpur rally. Uh, this was supposed to be a big uh, big time kick starting of campaign as far as BJP and the Prime Minister is concerned. Uh, they wanted to really scale up uh, their uh, campaign in Punjab. But what has happened here is a huge political controversy, a blame game. Uh, we've also heard about reports about Chief Minister speaking to the press and telling that there was no security breach. Uh, several of the Congress leaders have been taking to the social media site and talking about how there were 10,000 police personnel drawn in from 17 of the 23 districts. Uh, there were enough boots on the ground. Uh, there was also measures like the anti-drone left to agencies like the NSG and the BSF. Uh, they were also in tandem. But what the center is now alleging is a connivance between Punjab police and the farmer union leaders that nothing was done to stop them and nothing was done to remove the uh, blockade or the protesters and to ensure that the, uh, that, uh, the rally could be a smooth one. Uh, instead, the Prime Minister himself seemed to have got stuck. Uh, what Punjab police needs to do is answer and give an explanation. Meanwhile, what we've seen is a political pot shot. Uh, political bickering taking place and this is where things are going to actually go on a boil. We'll see more leaders. Please stay with us. I'm going to quickly cut short, uh, cutting across to Minakshi Lekhi who's speaking, BJP leader on the same. लाठियां क्या बारिश ने चलाई है पत्थरबाजी क्या बारिश ने की है सड़क भोजन की क्या भोजन की लूट जो है बारिश ने की है क्या सड़कों के अंदर ट्रैलियां खड़ी बारिश ने करवाई है मेरा ये सवाल नहीं है आप सवाल समझ नहीं नहीं आप आपका जवाब दे दिया आपका जवाब दे दिया मैडम एक मिनट मैडम एक Well, uh, we're going to continue tracking those uh, details there. You have the BJP leader who's addressing a presser there. A lot of, uh, in fact, uh, conversation happening at that press conference on uh, what, what really went by. Of course, the BJP targeting the Congress government, the Congress hitting out, saying that adequate arrangements were made. Uh, 10,000 odd police personnel were deployed only to ensure it was smooth sailing for the Prime Minister's convoy. But uh, again, no no satisfactory response and a concrete answer to what happened. How did this convoy uh, get blocked by protesters uh, right at a flyover? It was almost as if information was given quickly. As soon as the Punjab police were informed of the Prime Minister's movements and uh, what route he would be taking, quickly message was leaked and those wanting to protest managed to access that information and landed up at the spot braving the heavy rains and stood there to block the Prime Minister's convoy at least for 15-20 minutes. Um, in fact, deterring the Prime Minister from taking the journey further owing to security concerns, he, they turned around and headed back to the Batinda airport. Now, a massive political row has also erupted over the breach in Prime Minister Modi's security in the pole-bound state of Punjab. Prime Minister Modi taunted Channi government saying that, thank God I returned to the Batinda airport alive. This is what he's supposed to have said to the airport officials in Batinda. In fact, the Congress hit back at the BJP, calling it an excuse to distract from a, pol from a frop la rally there. The grand old party also said that Prime Minister was shown a trailer of the farmer's anger. This is what the Congress has responded with. Let's take a listen. Reactions that were pouring in on the same. In Punjab, the government has been in the past few days. That we can't give the government to the government. Then we are back. From this, we know that in Punjab, the people who are in the past few days, the people who are in the past few days, the people who are in the past few days, the people who are in the past few days, the people who are in the past few days, the people who are in the past few days, और ऐसी सरकार को एक भी पल सत्ता में रहने का अधिकार नहीं है पंजाब के अंदर जिस तरह से आज प्रधानमंत्री जी की रैली के अंदर सिक्योरिटी ब्रीच हुआ बहुत बड़ी सेंध लगी 
ये कोई अचानक नहीं हुआ मैं बार बार कहता रहा और मैं फिर आज कहने जा रहा हूं कांग्रेस एक डिजाइंड कॉन्स्परेसी के तरीके से एक डिजाइन मॉडल के तरीके से हमें पूरी दुनिया में बदनाम करती आई और करना चाहती है 1980 के दशक में भी इसी तरह कांग्रेस ने किया था हमें पहले कॉन्फ्लिक्ट में दिखाया हमें लड़ाया और फिर हमें पूरी दुनिया के अंदर आतंकवादी अलगाववादी बनाकर हमें मारने का काम किया ये वो चीज है जो पाकिस्तान और आई चाहती है कि हमारी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हो मैं हैरान हूं और इस बात को लेकर चिंतित हूं कि जो आईएसआई और पाकिस्तान चाहता है वही कांग्रेस की सरकार पंजाब की चाह रही है और देश की कांग्रेस की पार्टी चाह रही है क्या देश के प्रधानमंत्री किसी एक पार्टी के प्रधानमंत्री हैं मैं अपने किसान भाइयों से भी मैं अपने पंजाबियों से भी हाथ जोड़कर यह आग्रह करता हूं जरा सोचो हमें किस तरफ ले जाया जा रहा है और किस तरह से हमें बदनाम किया जा रहा है वट हेज है नॉट मेली ब्रीच ऑफ सिक्योरिटी इज ए ब्रीच ऑफ ट्रस्ट एंड एन चन्नी सरकार हम लोग लाचार नहीं है बल्कि इस, इस प्रदेश के जो लोग हैं वो इस बात को बहुत अच्छी तरह जानते हैं देशभक्ति किसको कहते हैं फिरोजपुर जैसी जगह जहाँ पर उन्होंने आकर शहीद भगत सिंह सुखदेव राजगुरु की समाधि पर फूल चढ़ाने थे जिसकी जिस जिन रास्तों को जिन सड़कों को बनवाने का पैसा केंद्र सरकार ने दिया है उन सड़कों के अलावा वहां पर कई सारे उद्घाटन करने थे आपको क्या लगता है यहाँ के जितने करतारपुर कॉरिडोर से लेकर और जिस फिरोजपुर सड़क पे आप चल रहे हैं वो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट की बनाई हुई है वो सब सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के काम है और सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के काम और जोर शोर से भारतीय जनता पार्टी का कार्यकर्ता हर घर में जाके बताएगा और बताएगा की कि हम किस तरीके से चुनाव लड़ते हैं और अब इनको और अच्छी तरह समझाएंगे Well, you have in actually Lekhi there. Um, a lot of the BJP leaders, of course, enraged and shocked with the security lapse, despite uh, having very well communicated on the route and how the Prime Minister will be uh, progressing, proceeding towards uh, Ferozpur. Despite all that uh, communication that was made with the police of Punjab, officials were very well informed. We saw. that protesters had managed to get whiff of the movements of the prime minister managed to get detailed information accurate information in fact and uh, landed up at that spot only to protest and block his convoy from moving further eventually 20 minutes later the prime minister decided to head back owing to security concerns now this is the biggest breach in prime minister security undoubtedly in recent times let's take a quick look and understand here why the security lapse is so serious we're looking at the prime minister's max spg security protectee in fact he is one of the most important person the most important person in the country today prime minister's convoy path is sanitized ahead ideally the police should ensure the entire trail and that path is checked and there's no hindrance any changes in the path requires clearance if at all there's any disruption then the police must inform the convoy the officials those responsible of uh, the prime minister's convoy much in advance but none of that was communicated unplanned stop by the prime minister's convoy banned by the spg that's another reason why the prime minister you never see a uh, stopping at any spot unplanned it's all as per what they've designed so that to ensure that the prime minister is safe in that convoy um with his officials prime minister's convoy stalled on the flyover is certainly a big risk clearly there is a reason to why there is sufficient and robust security around the prime minister and if he is uh, if his convoy is stopped for 15 to 20 minutes that raises serious security concerns and that's the reason to why the prime minister's convoy decided that they will not progress further even though the protesters were cleared off the path they decided that they will return back to the batinda airport and leave they literally cancel the rally post that decision considering that security arrangements were not made there's no way for uh, the convoy the prime minister himself to trust the police any further and move ahead with the rally a decision was made eventually to cancel it now 
Prime Minister Security Protocol here, a special protection group provides at least 24-hour security. In fact, the state arranges logistics when the Prime Minister travels. The state, in fact, it's an entire state subject here, security for the Prime Minister, state, state itself to look at the security and prepare a contingency plan. And that's what uh, Punjab government here has failed with. In fact, the Prime Minister's travel plans were very well communicated to the state in advance. Accurate SPG shooters and travel, in fact, uh, accurate SPG shooters had traveled with the Prime Minister's convoy and the SPG was e equipped with FNF 2000 assault rifle and 17M revolvers and venue for the public gatherings was secured by the state itself one day prior. SPG also was to check security again on the day of the public event. Now, the Punjab government claims that 10,000 police officers were brought in only to ensure that uh, security was enough and sufficient. But despite that, it's such, such a clear lapse and uh, a clear violation of what the Punjab DGP, the, the police department had promised that they will ensure adequate security to the Prime Minister. And here clearly, they have failed on multiple levels and so far, not a word of responsibility, uh, taking responsibility have we heard from the Congress. None of the leaders, the Chief Minister of course has so far not spoken about the same, has not addressed the matter itself in the first place. This has left the BJP seething, clearly enough ammunition for them to uh, fire at the Congress government ahead of polls in Punjab. Now we have some big news coming in here. A new video of the Prime Minister's convoy in Batinda has surfaced. Protesters are seen blocking the Prime Minister's convoy. Unprecedented lapse in the Prime Minister's security. Here's a new video that India Today has access now on the Prime Minister's convoy that was blocked off at a flyover in Batinda. Protesters were seen blocking the Prime Minister's convoy. This clearly is unprecedented lapse in the Prime Minister's security in recent times. Undoubtedly, this was this is not something to be taken lightly. It's serious for the only reason because the Prime Minister's security is paramount for any state to ensure that there is additional security arranged. Um, and, and in fact, all the arrangements must be looked into by the state government itself. It is their responsibility that they ensure that they have sufficient security, and not just that. They also have, they should be, uh, they should have enough intelligence reports to suggest if at all there is any disturbance that could take place. How do they not know that there were uh, various farmer unions that, who were protesting right below a flyover on the same stretch that the Prime Minister was moving? In fact, this new video here of the Prime Minister's convoy in Batinda that surfaced shows very clearly that protesters were trying hard to block the Prime Minister's convoy. Indeed, an unprecedented lapse in the Prime Minister's security in recent times. On this note, I'm going to slip into a short break. We'll continue with this developing story here. We're waiting for reactions to come in from Chief Minister Shani of Punjab. Because no response is yet. We're going to continue tracking this on the other side. Stay with us. You are watching India Today.